In this video, we'll balance the net ionic equation for CaOH2 plus Al2SO43. This is calcium hydroxide, and this is aluminum sulfate. The first thing we need to do with net ionic equations, we have to balance the molecular equation. This is the molecular equation. So I see that I have these three hydroxides here and only two here. What I want to do is get that to be an even number. So I'm going to put a two in front of the aluminum hydroxide. Now I have two times three, six hydroxides. If I put a three here, I have three times the two hydroxides. So now I have six on both sides. Now I have three calciums. Let's put a three here. That balances the calcium and we have three sulfates, just like we have three sulfates here. Over here, we have two aluminums, two aluminums. That's the balanced molecular equation. For the next step, we need to write the state for each substance. Calcium hydroxide is considered a strong base, so it'll dissociate into its ions completely. So we say AQ for aqueous. Sulfates in general are soluble most of the time, so we're going to put AQ for aqueous. One of the exceptions is calcium sulfate, barium sulfate as well. Those are insoluble. That means they won't dissolve, so we're going to put an S. They're going to be solids. When these two substances react, it forms a solid as a precipitate. It falls to the bottom of the test tube. Aluminum hydroxide. Hydroxides in general, they're insoluble as well. Aluminum hydroxide, that's insoluble. So it's going to be a solid too. It'll be a precipitate, fall to the bottom of the test tube. For both of these, a little bit will dissolve, but really just not very much. So we consider these to be solids and they precipitate out of the solution. So this is interesting because we have two substances forming precipitates. All right, next we split the strong electrolytes into their ions for the complete ionic equation. So calcium group two would be two plus, and then the whole hydroxide is one minus. Good one to remember. So we have three calcium ions, three Ca two plus. I won't write the states. Let's do that at the end. Plus I have two hydroxide ions, OH minus aluminum. That's in group 13, sometimes called 3A on the periodic table. That'll be three plus. So we have two aluminum ions, that Al three plus and then three of these sulfate ions. That's the two minus, SO4, two minus. So three sulfate ions, also a good one to remember. Those are the reactants in our net ionic equation. For the products, when we do net ionic equations, we don't split solids apart. So we're gonna have three CaSO4, then we'll have the two, that aluminum hydroxide, ALOH3. These are the products in our net ionic equation. Next, we'll cross out spectator ions. These are on both sides of the complete ionic equation. When I look at it, there's nothing different from the reactants in the products. So in this case, the net ionic equation, that's the same as the complete ionic equation. So this is the net ionic equation and complete ionic equation for CaOH2 plus Al2SO43. Let me clean this up, write the states. We'll have our net ionic equation. So there you have it, the complete and the net ionic equation for calcium hydroxide plus aluminum sulfate. You'll note that charge is conserved. All of this adds up to zero, net charge of zero. These are neutral, so net charge of zero. And if you count the atoms up, they'll be balanced as well. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.